the left-wing newspaper The Guardian are once again focusing on the real important issues of the day. This time it's Liz Truss's dress code and fashion sense. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, you know The Guardian, the paper that nobody reads, the paper that you go, if you go on their website, you know, to have a look at an article, scroll down the, every single day, they beg for money to survive the day. Otherwise, they can't feed themselves. So this paper that usually gives us the golden opportunity to have a laugh every single day, especially in the, the, the opinion piece section. Um, people, all the lefties write articles and they have their opinions being expressed. Free society, free speech, well done. But sometimes, oh dear God, you see this sort of stuff. Look at this. Zoe Beatty saying, Why did Liz Truss <laughs> wear the same outfit as a fictional fascist? <laughs> so Emma Thompson was in this uh, TV show. There was a political TV show. She was, she was a really hard right prime minister. Really scary. Look at the dresses. Like, literally, they look exactly the same. I love that. So I do, I do hope that actually Liz Truss did that on purpose. Like, oh, uh, she watched that show. At least, and just like, oh, that's a nice dress, I'm, I'm, and that's a nice kind of outfit. I'm gonna get that. But this has triggered the lefties because I think they don't realize that fictional character, Emma Thompson, is a fictional character. She's not really a hard, hard right leader. By the way, that character is supposed to be that idiotic show. It's supposed to be a combination of Nigel Farage and Katie Hopkins. <laughs> so that's that Emma Thompson character is basically based on that. The nonsensical part of this is, imagine, imagine if a right-wing newspaper had talked about a left-wing female leader's dress or, or dress code, or just generally speaking, anything uh, regarding their appearance. There will be outrage. Their people will be cancelled. Their, their lives will be ruined. And <laughs> children will go hungry. This is crazy. Um, so you got the hypocrisy, the double standards. You've got the unnecessary anti-woman feel to it that you can see that the left do have a problem with women because most of the time when a leader becomes um, well when a female politicians become leader they, they usually happen to be right wing anyway but this article it was it was a waste of time and energy this is literally that's the whole article i'm not even joking this is not a section of the article that's it one two three four five six seven basically about six paragraph we've got two tiny paragraphs that's the whole article why did you waste your time and energy oh well i know why you get paid don't you yes you beg for money on the website then you pay your uh, the, the columnist that you have like zoe it's weird by the way in case you don't know where this story came um, and came from why did this zoe person write that where was she inspired did she actually remember the dress no some random writer uh, from I believe Manchester or somewhere like that, uh, Russell Davies uh, posted that on Instagram. The two photos of Emma Thompson's fictional character and uh, Liz Truss, um, who you know, feels like sometimes in a fictional character, but she's real actually. Uh, <laughs> sometimes people don't believe that she's prime minister. But so this person posted on Instagram, and the Guardian columnist saw that. And they started to write about it like it's an actual news story. Seriously, what is wrong with these people? So we decided to have some fun. You know, this is exactly what social media is built for, uh, by doing a bit of a Photoshop. Um, so this article is not real. But look at this. <laughs> it's a Guardian headline. Why did Keir Starmer wear the same outfit as Vladimir Putin? <laughs> well done, Twitter trolls. Yeah. Why? Well, they're both wearing suits and they're both wearing ties that are red. Well, that means Starmer is basically Putin. I've decided on this channel. I declare Starmer the new Putin. <laughs> I mean, he wishes to be that strong and stable. Well, before the recent situation. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. I feel sad for The Guardian and their staff. Uh, we're going to come back in half an hour. We're going to get back to normal, serious news stories now. Uh, there is a very, very big problem with um, one of the election... U U.S. election software companies that is linked to the CCP in China. Yeah, not really surprised, are you? Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TCNV. Are the media.